All right, hello and uh, welcome to another Rob Plays. Uh, today we're trying a game called Drunken Robot Pornography. Uh, despite the name, uh, it's not in any way not safe for work or, or at all. It's just got the name pornography because it is a very funny game. Uh, lots of humor has been injected not only into the game itself, but into the settings and everything as well. Uh, one of the big features of this is even though it's in uh, pre-release right now, it's still got uh, so many options to create your own Titans, city areas, and fight other people's Titans, Titans as well. Today, though, we're going to have a go. I'll show you the gameplay. Um, there's lots of different locations you can visit, but we're going to try this one, the battle uh, pre-flight information. There we go, the controls, WASD, standard, space for the jetpack, and aim or shoot. Destroy the extremities first to eliminate the titans. Titans are quite easy, uh, I'll be honest, in this game. Um, well, in my experience so right. far. Okay, here we go, jetpacks required it. beyond this point. Oh, fair enough. Okay. So you can float for a little while, see that blue bar goes down as you run out of jetpack fuel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the martinis do apart from giving me points. Okay, here we go, battling the titan. Um, shooting the extremities. As you can see, it goes down quite easily. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not sure if those lasers can hurt us or not. Uh, but this titan doesn't even seem to be shooting at us. Here we go then, we'll take it down. And... Oh, there we go. So that was sitting at a solid 60 frames per second for the whole time. Very beautiful and seems to run pretty well. A winner is you. Time bonus, final score. Uh, okay. Um, yes, there are a few stand-ins you might have seen then. Oh, God, what a mess. You can't even fit inside it. I'm going to leave. No, leave in a huff. Life's somehow diminished for its futuristic lack of ability to slam a door. You hit the close button and the door slides shut quietly. Oh, okay. Let's try the bar. Now former bar has been cordoned off. There's a sign posted over the door. What? Mm, what's the sign say? Sneak in, leave. Sneak in. No luck, the doors are sealed shut. Oh, okay. Um... What's the sign say? Closed by order of the Boston Sky Fire Department. What? Fine. Interesting. Maybe there'll be more to those later on. Um, let's try the Great Molasses Silo. One more battle. Okay. There's a leaderboard there. 94,000, the highest. Okay, let's grab that. Triple fire, okay. Not sure how that works. Martini. I'm coming tight, and here we go. Let's see if this one shoots at us. Yes, it seems to be shooting and blowing up just as easily. Uh, not such a difficult game. You play this more for the experience than the challenge, I suppose. Whoa, there we go. 88,681. That's got to put me somewhere on the high scores. Okay. And this one. No railings and a five kilometer fall. Ooh, I guess we'd better stay on the uh, the edges here. Okay, grab a power up. Get that martini. Get that martini. Don't ah, oh, ran out of jetpack. Oh, the okay. The challenge is getting the martini. Oh my goodness, what are these? Okay, did I get the martini? Oh oh oh. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. If you die, you come up pretty quick, and then it's over. These battles, they're just over a little bit too quickly, in my opinion. Maybe this is just because it's the uh, the pre-release. Maybe they work up to some more challenging ones. Um, but perhaps that's something they can uh, think about. No Titans. Minimal drone activity. Drone activity. Okay. Whoa! Oh, I see. We're learning about jump pads, are we? Oh, well, I've played games before. I've seen jump pads before. Whoa! Oh, my. Okay, these are drones, huh? Well, they seem to go down fairly easily. Now, there's quite interesting game dialogue going on um, that I've actually turned down. Uh, you'll enjoy it a lot uh, if you if you try the game. Um, I, I would recommend listening to that. Uh, much like Octodad as well, the game dialogue is quite fun uh, and worth listening to. 
but a little bit distracting perhaps from uh, when you're trying to beat up these bad guys. So, all in all, what would I say about this game? I'd say it's a very fun game, a very good experience. And for the price tag, it's quite reasonable. Um, if it was a bit more expensive, I'd probably stay away from it just because there's not an awful lot to it. Um, well, there doesn't seem to be yet. Um, but then if we go to the Create Fighting Other People's Titans and Other People's Cityscapes, there is a lot in there. Okay, here we go. The the settings, you can see some some of the, uh, the things in here like difficulty level H2O, C2H60, C2H602. Um, so perhaps we can just turn that up. But on the other hand, I think the boss battle should last a little bit longer. Have a look at these. Uh, Dejoban theme song, Monster Loves You. Um, yeah, you can tell that a lot of this is just uh, placeholder graphics. Nonetheless, this is a great game. Um, if you can, give it a go. Um, otherwise... Uh, I'll I'll see how I go with fighting other people's titans and arenas. If I find some interesting ones, I'll record it and uh, let you know what they're like. Okay, thanks for watching.